What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you some basic troubleshooting steps you can take if pip isn't working to install modules in your Python project. All right, so welcome back to the channel. Right before I dive into the concepts, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who voted on the recent poll on the channel on whether our next big project should be a playable guitar program or a rebuild of classic Pac-Man. Pac-Man won by a substantial margin, so that'll be the next big project we do on the channel. I'm working on that, it's close to finished, so expect that tutorial in the next week or two. Be sure to uh, hit subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it when it comes out. And without any further ado, let's jump into the concepts for this video. So pip is the basic installer command to bring outside modules into your Python program. So if you're building a game or you're doing something with data analytics or math or you want graphs, um, then there are all these different modules, pygame, pyaudio, numpy, matplotlib, all these different modules that you need to bring into your program. And if you've followed a lot of YouTube tutorials, including my own tutorials, a lot of them are guilty of just saying in the beginning, okay, first thing we're gonna do is import pygame. If you don't have it, in your code then just run pip to install it. And you've probably heard things like that at the beginning of tutorials. Again, I've done it myself. Some of the great uh, IDE, integrated development environments, um, actually come with like this little terminal plugin. And so you can usually just come down here and type in pip install pygame or whatever the module is and hit enter. And if everything's great, if everything was installed correctly and set up correctly, then a lot of the times that works right away and you'll just get this successfully installed Pi game, whatever, whatever, uh, right at the bottom. And then all of a sudden, like the red squiggly lines will go away and it'll stop throwing errors because now your program has Pi game. Uh, even more annoying sometimes, well, it's not annoying, it's a great feature, but maybe you've seen projects where like they say import Pi Audio, and especially like if you're using PyCharm, sometimes you can just hover over it and it'll have this install package Pi Audio like option. So it'll run the installer for you and then you have the package. And that's great if everything works, but I've seen a ton of comments on my videos and on other YouTube tutorial channels that say, I can't even follow along with this tutorial because PIP isn't working for me. What do I do if PIP isn't working? So here's a few things you can try because a lot of the articles I saw online basically say reinstall Python. You probably installed Python wrong. We'll get to that, that's a piece of it, but here's a few things you can try before doing that, and then we'll talk about how to make sure if you do reinstall Python, you do it correctly. Um, so there are a few things that you can try uh, right away. If pip install isn't just working by default, then there's always a chance that um, maybe you have Python installed in a different place than your IDE. So what you need to do is you might need to look into your project and figure out what the full address of your project is. So for this one, it's C, users, PLEMA, PyCharm projects, pip not working. So if I had installed Python in just like my root C drive, sometimes if you just try to run pip install like right here, it's gonna tell you it can't because it's like, um, well, pip isn't recognized because you have to point it to whatever place Python is installed in. So if you have Python installed inside of this project, then what you can try is you can try the full address. Um, so this is a little tedious to type out, so I'm only gonna do it once, but you could try c colon forward slash users forward slash plema forward slash pycharm projects. And this is gonna be really annoying if I make a uh, typo <laughs> slash uh, pip, what I call it, not working because that's a descriptive project name. And then uh, forward slash Python, so forward slash, and you want to point it to where we are inside the project even. So V, E, and V, our virtual environment, and then forward slash scripts, and then forward backslash, I keep saying forward slash, python.exe, and then dash M, and then pip install, and we'll do another one we don't have yet, numpy. So sometimes typing out this full address is what you have to do if you have Python installed in, an, in a place that's just by default, not going to, and it's telling me to upgrade pip. Um, but you can see it installed the collected package numpy. So now if underneath PyAudio I typed in import numpy, whoop, 
right away, it's not gonna give me an error. It will go gray because I'm not using it in my project, but uh, it won't give me an error because I just successfully installed it. So one thing you can try is pointing it at your project. If that doesn't work, one more thing you can try, it's very similar, you type in that whole command, but instead of install the package, you can try this, install and then dash dash upgrade pip and maybe you have an old version of pip um, maybe it's just a matter of how long ago you installed python or you installed an out of date uh, version of pip it's possible so you can try running upgrade pip in my case it says requirement already satisfied because i have a newer version of pip um, but that's another thing you can try to repair it and then after you've um, get this successfully installed you can try installing a module again hopefully that works now, if none of that has worked, unfortunately, we are at the point where the online articles are actually right, and what you are going to want to try to do is reinstall Python. So you want to start by going and uninstalling it from your programs and uninstalling it from your computer. Fortunately, the full install of Python and an interpreter only takes a couple of minutes. So go to your programs on your computer and uninstall Python. And then when you reinstall it, you can just get it from python.org. I believe it's python.org. Um, when you reinstall it, there's a few things you wanna check for. So when you're reinstalling it, make sure the add python 3. whatever to path checkbox is checked. So you want to add it to the path. That's basically saying there's gonna be pathing built into your computer so it knows how to find Python um, if you just address it from a command line. So make sure that that box is checked. And then the next thing you need to check on an installation is you wanna select customize installation and make sure that pip is checked in optional features. So um, most of the time by default, pip will be checked, but you just need to double check that because sometimes people will go in customize installation and they'll remove some of those things that seem optional because it takes up more space on their computer or they think, let me just get bare bones Python, whatever it is. You want pip to be checked in optional features. It makes adding packages to your project so much easier. So check those things out. And then once you've reinstalled Python, try it. You shouldn't actually have to reinstall your IDE because it's typically just something you have to solve at the Python level. But if it's still not working, it might be time to reinstall the IDE. Again, just in case you got a corrupted installation of your IDE, it varies. There are so many different integrated development environments that I can't possibly tell you a separate fix for every single one of them. But I will say PyCharm at one point was not correctly pulling from Python for me, so I had to install it once. So that's a kind of a last ditch effort. But then at the end of all of that, you should be able to run pip and install modules. And these are the best tips I can give you for troubleshooting pip. I really hope this helps some of you. If you've really gone through all of the steps I talked about in this project and it's still not working for you, then you may want to do some deep diving into the internet. Maybe it's the version of Windows or iOS, uh, Mac or Linux that you're running. It could be a compatibility issue. There are some issues between Python versions 2 point whatever whatever and 3 point whatever whatever. Some IDEs have project settings where you can add modules in your IDE rather than needing to change stuff at the Python level. So there are a million fixes for it out there, but this is the most common way to get it working for most people, and this has personally helped me out a lot. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel to keep up to speed on everything that's coming out in the coming weeks, and be sure to let me know in the comments if you found this useful and what you'd like to see more of on the channel in the future. I am still getting set up in Colorado, so uh, apologize if there was any shaky camera or any kind of uh, uh, bugs in the production. I'm just trying to get um, back up and running after my move. So thank you everybody for the continued support on the channel. It's unbelievable to me that we're approaching 2,000 subscribers. Uh, it's been really a fantastic journey, and I'm looking forward to making tons more videos with you guys in the future. So as always, good luck with your code, and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.